East China Steel, obviously a very big plant, where I lived in the northeast of England. We had lots of these steel plants. Have they ever heard of England? Do they know anything about England? Anything? Tell them, I, I, I am a grandfather. Uh, one boy, uh, eight, uh, the other one, eight months. So whenever I see uh, children, I think of my grandfather. I think one of the great things about this walk has been the number of times that we've been able to meet people just going about their ordinary daily lives and to talk to them. To me, what made their stories very interesting particularly was because part of this walk is looking at how China has opened up over the past 40 years. So what, what type of birds are these? And how much do they cost? I think, uh, I think bird song is the most beautiful sound in the world. I used to have a budgery guard like this uh, when I was young, called Joey. Joey, uh, and is this his uh, his only job, or, or does he have other jobs? I think I really liked the bird man, and I asked, did he do this as his living? And he said, no, he did this as a hobby. You know, it was just something that I should give him pleasure. And if he managed to sell some, that was good. But if he didn't, then he was happy. And I thought that left quite an impression. If somebody had said to me, what, what did I know of China when I was 17 years old? I would say, I knew Chinese food. <laughs> uh, every village had a, a small town, had a Chinese takeaway. So I would immediately think of food. I love Chinese food. But otherwise, I would think China, a very poor country. But really beyond that, we didn't have a great deal. All of our attention when I was 17 was towards America. But America has changed a bit in 40 years. But so has China. And it is remarkable to see how it's transformed. Of all the statistics that are presented about China, the one which always inspires me is that no country in human history has ever lifted more people out of poverty than China. 700 million, three quarters of the total lifted out of poverty between 2000 and 2010 were here in China. That should make us celebrate and take note. Whoa. Hey, Weidar. Tell us about the fish farm. And what type of fish are they? And how long has he been doing this for? So, 40 years ago, because I, I was doing my walk for 40 years opening up, 40 years ago, was he still working here? In, uh, in England, what is very popular is to uh, uh, allow people to come and fish with their line. So they come and spend a Saturday fishing and they catch one or two fish they take home, but they then pay for the sport of fishing. And every day I write a blog of my journey and I like to get people's names, their ages, uh, some of the facts uh, correct. Just even though it's on a blog, I like to do that. People find it very interesting uh, because a lot of people read the blog in China, but there's also a lot of people read it in England. And this is the way that they see China. And one of the reasons why we do what we do is because we want people to uh, see and feel China uh, in a real way. Sometimes they uh, don't always get the true impression of China. 
uh, whereas we're trying to convey what that is, the warmth of the people uh, and the, uh, the way in which society works.